Today in this video, we will discuss about Kilox recombination system. Uh, so, this Kilox recombination system is a site specific recombination technology which can be used to delete, insert, and translocate at a specific site in the DNA of a cell. Okay. So, if we need any kind of modifications such as deletion, insertion, as well as translocation in the DNA of a cell, we can use this Kilox recombination technique. So what does this Cree and LOX stands for? So Cree is basically a recombination protein as the name implies Cree since it creates recombination that's why its name is Cree Cree recombination so Cree recombination is a 38 kda molecular weight protein which has been derived from bacteria for P1 and this mediates site specific recombination okay so so this site specific recombination so this so this Cree protein uh, mediates this site specific recombination and for recombination we need this crossover region which is provided by this LOX LOX stands for locus of crossover so from where we derived this was LOX so this LOX basically consists of your um, two inverted sequence and 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 in between them a special re region is present so what happens is that this lock besides suppose we want to delete this uh, dna sequence so okay so suppose we want to delete this dna sequence okay so suppose we want to uh, delete this dna sequence so what will happen at first this cre protein will bind the Cree protein will bind to this LOX P site and will bring close this two LOX P site they will bring close to each other okay so this two LOX P site will come close to each other and this Cree protein which is a recombinase will cut between this site of DNA as well as this site of DNA now once they cut this that the DNA sequence will be excluded while this LOX P site will find to each other or will come close to each other because the DNA sequence has been deleted okay so this LOX P site usually consists of uh, 13 base pair inverted repeats so this 13 base pair and these 13 base pairs are symmetric sequence that means they are opposite in orientation or uh, mirror image of each other while this 8 base pair spacer sequence which is a symmetric one okay this 8 base pair allow this recombination to occur now the orientation of this lock p site will determine whether inversion will happen deletion will happen or whether your translocation will happen so at first deletion now if these two locks p sites are in same orientation that means if this LOX P sites are in the same orientation, I mean they are in the same direction. You can see this is also in this direction and this one is also in the same direction. Then the intervening sequence, this DNA sequence between them will be excised or they will be deleted. Okay, so this part will be deleted. If this LOX P sites are in same orientation inversion so when this locks p sites are in opposite direction or in opposite orientation to each other you can see this one is in this direction and this one is in this direction okay so in this case since the orientation is opposite there will be a inversion of this dna sequence so CSI question comes from this region so so don't try to forget this only this part will be inverted okay this LOX P site will not be inverted so you can see since uh, let us suppose the sequence of DNA is XYZ so in case if it's get inverted you will get Z Y X okay as an inverted sequence now translocation translocation will happen if this LOX P sites are present on two different strand 
and as a result of which we will see translocation between this 2 DNA sequence they will go a recombination as a result of which this part of segment will go to this part and this part of segment will go to this part 